Okay, in this video, we're gonna solve number four from the 2019 Calc AB and Calc BC exams. Um, and it's kind of a related rate, separable differential equations type problem. Uh, so let's get started with what we know. So we are told that um, we have a cylindrical barrel with a diameter of two feet, it contains rainwater, um, and it's shown in the figure. And um, the water drains out, and we know that dh dt the rate of change of the height is negative one tenth root h, and uh, you know we're told that volume is pi r squared h. We're also told in the problem and in the figure that the diameter of the tank is two, which means that the radius is one. So that's a fixed quantity that's never going to change. And then the question for part a is to find the rate of change of the volume with respect to time when the height of the water is four feet. So we want to indicate units of measure as well. So let's see if we can do that. So we're trying to find dv dt when h is four. So first I'm going to substitute uh, r, is e well, r is equal to one all the time. So really the volume formula simplifies to just pi times h. And uh, now what I want to do is find dv dt. So I'm going to find the derivative of everything with respect to t. So dv dt is going to be pi times dh dt. And that's important because dh dt was given to us as a function up here. So dv dt is actually pi times um, negative 1 tenth radical h. So I just make it negative pi over 10 root h. And then we're trying to find dv dt when h is equal to 4. So it's just a substitution problem at this point. So that's negative pi over 10 root 4 which is root four is two, so two over 10 is one fifth, so we end up with negative pi over five. But then we need to figure out the units. So uh, it's volume and there are feet, so it should be feet cubed. And then the uh, time is measured in seconds. So if you go back and read uh, all the things that you're given, you're told that uh, dh dt is in feet per second. So we know time is second and units should be feet, volume should be cubed. All right, so that is part A. Part B, uh, we want to know if when the height of the water is three feet is the rate of change of the height. So is dh dt increasing or decreasing? So is dh dt increasing or decreasing when h is three? All right, so that sounds like I need to find the derivative of dh dt, so I need to find um, the second derivative. So that would be, um, the second derivative is uh, it's going to be negative one tenth times, so I'm going to treat it as h to the one half, so one half h to the negative one half, but it's with respect to time, so the derivative of h is not one, it's one times dh dt, so that's a chain rule type thing. And uh, so uh, a couple of options at this point, I could just substitute three into dh dt, three for h, and then be done. Um, I'm going to actually just replace dh dt with... Um, negative one tenth radical h. I'm gonna write radical h is h to the one half. So this actually, the second derivative is kind of weird. It actually doesn't depend on h if you simplify it. You actually just get one over 200, um, which is always positive. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, write up my answer. So since the second derivative is greater than zero when h is three, it's actually always greater than zero, but it doesn't matter when h is equal to three. Uh, dh dt is increasing when h is equal to 3. So the rate is increasing. Uh, and that answers that. All right, and let's take a look at part c. So part c is actually just a separable differential equation. They tell you to use separation of variables, which is pretty nice of them. So we're told that h is equal to 5 when t is equal to 0, and we want to solve um, for h in terms of t. So we still know this differential equation. I'm going to separate. So I'm going to bring over the root h, I'm going to bring over the dt, I'm going to throw some integral signs in here, and uh, for this side I'm going to rewrite it first. So I write uh, 1 over radical h is h to the negative 1 half, so I can reverse the power rule. On this side I'm just going to integrate it, so I get negative 1 tenth t plus c. So c goes on the side with the independent variable, which is the variable from the kind of denominator of dh dt. And uh, so now I'll integrate the left hand side. So it's plus one times the reciprocal, gives me this. At this point, I'm gonna solve for c because it's not gonna be easier at any other point. So t is equal to zero. So on the right-hand side, I just get c. 
and then h is equal to 5, so the left-hand side I get 2 root 5 is equal to c. Uh, I'm going to substitute that in so that I'm dealing with this. And now my goal is to solve for h, because I want h as a function of t. Uh, yeah, h as a function of t. So uh, divide through by 2 to get negative 1 tenth t plus root 5. Square both sides, and I get this. And then there you go, that's h as a function of t, so that's actually my answer. All right, so that's the entirety of the question. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.